In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Oz RV XL13E Mark II. Before opening the roof, make sure you go around and undo all four over centre latches. There's one in each corner of the roof. Remove the pin, undo the latch, and just make sure it rests out of the way. Go around and release them all as I have. Come into the doorway here and activate the roof lifting switch. You have to press it and hold it for the duration of the lift. All done. Once it gets to its full height, the actuators will automatically cut out and our roof is up. To set up the stabiliser leg, grab the blue handle, take the weight off the end of the leg, pull it out, lower the leg down. Then grab your speed brace and wind it down. Be sure not to over tighten the stabiliser legs. They're not designed to take the full weight of the caravan in the winding motion. They're quite strong when in place, but the small bevel gears and the pins inside them are at risk of breaking if you try and lift too much of the van. To open up the step, reach in the back and press down on the bar behind the step and pull the step forward and it's ready to go. Before operating the hot water system, you need to remove the cover off the flue for the Truma hot water unit. The best way to do it is hook your fingertips over the top and use your thumbs to press firmly into the bottom here. Now the cover's off, we can turn our gas on, prime our hot water system and switch it on. Now that our roof is up, we can lower the spare wheels. The process of that is to remove the linch pins out of the over centre latches and also the pin in the main post and its R clip, then we can lower it down. What I'll do is I'll put the clips all in my pocket so I don't lose them. And once I've finished, I'll find a good spot where I can easily find them again for when I pack down. So remove the R clip. Our pins out, and we can simply drop the spare down out of the way. Now we repeat that for the other one. Now our spares are down. You can also go to this part of the process to assist you in over to undoing the over centre latches if you want. So if you're not too tall and you want to be able to undo those latches, you can step up onto the spares and do them before you raise the roof, if that helps you. To set the rest up, unlock across the bottom. And this panel being on gas struts makes life quite easy. Lift it up out of the way and we can unlock our wing panels. Then pull that out, pull the roof down to hold it in place. Now the sides are out, we can unlatch the back section. There's a latch in both corners. To simply step up onto the tires, release the latches, and we can lower it down. Now raising the back window section is easy. The gas struts do most of the work. And the trick is not to pull too quickly. Let the gas struts do the job. Once that's out, make sure it's firm in place and 
we can attach the latches in the top here. That's our fold out section set up. If you want some additional security, you can put a padlock in the over center latches here and that'll stop anyone opening up this section and entering the van. Setting up the awning is easy. You've got to note that there are two switches for the awning. One's an on off master switch and the one beside it is to extend or retract the awning with an off position in the center. All ready to go. Switch it to open. Now the awning has electric limiters. So once it comes to its full extension, it will stop as it does when it retracts. Now if it's windy, stay close. You don't want to let the wind catch your awning and do any damage. Today's beautiful, so there's not a breath of wind. So while the awning's coming out, I can actually start getting the legs out from behind the fascia. When I get the legs out, I always start at the hinge end, the very end, pull that end out, then pull the leg out of its C-clip holder in the centre here. You have a choice of two ways to set up. If you're on grass or softer ground, you can actually peg the feet of the awning to the ground. If you want to set it up cafe style, on the side of the van are holders for the feet of the awning legs. To use those, just lift the top cap up, slide the foot in, then push the cap down. Then adjust the awning leg to the height you want and lock it in place. So you can have one down, one up, doesn't matter. But if you are securing it to the ground, make sure you use the pegs that come with the kit for the awning leg. And that's how you set up the OzRV XL13E Mark II. For more information, make sure you download a copy of the owner manual and check out the other videos on our YouTube channel.